Hello everyone, this is Ivan with Village Travel. Want to do a quick demonstration on the Whip Around app and how it works. You will receive an SMS notification asking you to download the app. You'll either do that in the Apple Store or the Google Store and uh, go ahead and download it. it, won't cost you anything. Once you open the app, it's going to ask you to put in a login and a password. Your login is going to be your email address that's on file with Village. Your password is going to be the same code that you use to start the bus uh, on the Socon e-log system. Once you do that, you're going to select that you want to inspect a vehicle. If it prompts you to do that, it'll probably just come to this main screen. This is a wheel that allows you to select the bus that you're going to do the inspection on. You can either roll that wheel or you can just go to the top in the search function and put in the unit number. For this test, we're going to use the training vehicle. And while you get to use this or get used to it, feel free to take as many inspections as you'd like using the training vehicle. Select training vehicle and then next, and then you're gonna select from one of the two inspections that are listed here. We have a pre-trip inspection as well as a post-trip DVIR. You'll wanna do the pre-trip inspection every day before you start uh, to operate the bus and then complete the post trip every day at the end of your at the end of your shift we'll run through this real quick so it's telling me that last time i did an inspection on this bus it passed it was done on the 26th at 10 50 a.m i'm going to scroll through this all, to the, all the way to the bottom and i'm going to hit sign to proceed i'm going to put my signature in there and submit Once it accepts my signature, it's going to um, prompt me to begin the inspection. There's some questions on here that uh, are a bit new to you, I'm sure. And we can thank the COVID for this. As soon as this, uh, we're past this, we will get rid of these questions. So we're going to answer all these. And again, I'm not um, going through and reading everything right now as this is just simply a demonstration. Normally, we want you to walk around the bus and do the inspection uh, the proper way. So it's going to ask me for the mileage on the SOCON, not on the dash. Put in the mileage. You can also hit the picture button um, there and use a camera, but we do not want you to do that because it doesn't feed the data to our, to our maintenance system properly. It's prompting me to tell me that the um, last mileage taken was 16193. So if I put something lower than that, it's going to warn me about that and ask me to take another look at it. 16194 is the mileage today. From the driver's seat, I'm going to inspect these things. Everything passes. And from the interior inspection, I'm gonna inspect these things. Let's say that the corded microphone is not working. I'm Instead of hitting the pass button, I'm gonna hit the check button. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna hit say that everything is working properly except for the corded microphone. I'm gonna hit X. It's gonna ask me to take a picture of it and enter a comment. I don't have to take a picture, but if that will help the mechanic, then please do that. Enter a comment. It does not work. Hit the OK button. It goes ahead and goes down the list. Everything on here works properly. Moving on, we're gonna to go to the entrance. Then we're gonna do the curbside the rear of the coach, driver's side, and the front of the coach. If it has a wheelchair chair lift, we want you to test it. It passes, and then any other concerns that you may have. Um, it does question you on the inspections uh, of body work on each side, the front and the back of the bus. Uh, but if there's any other concerns that the inspection didn't address, take a picture of it, add some notes. If there aren't, simply hit the skip button. At the bottom, you're gonna click anywhere on that gray area, Put your signature in there and hit submit. It's gonna tell me it took two, two minutes and 21 seconds and I had one fault on here. I'm gonna submit this and away I go. Again, we want you to do this and walk around the bus, check some things that you normally wouldn't check. Just check everything on there. We've added things that aren't on the paper DVRR because we couldn't add them on there. Things like checking the DVD player, making sure the Wi-Fi works, all of those things that are incredibly important for the group, but haven't traditionally felt uh, um, fit on a DVIR. Going through a post-trip inspection quickly, we're gonna select training vehicle again. I'm gonna come to post-trip DVIR. You're gonna fill this out at the end of your day. It's gonna ask me to go through. There was a failure on the mic corded microphone. 
So it's going to ask me to sign off on this. I'm going to sign. Because it wasn't safety related, I was able to go ahead and go through the trip. It didn't have anything to do with satisfactory or unsatisfactory in a legality form. I'm going to now put in the mileage at the end of my trip. We drove a whopping one mile today. I'm going to check all of these things that are different. They are the same, but in a different format than when we did it this morning. Emergency equipment. Uh, we didn't damage it. Luggage bays are locked. No other concerns. This is the most important one. The condition of this coach is satisfactory or unsatisfactory. Remember that the things that you would mark this coach out of service for are, ser are safety related DVIR specific questions. If you have an issue such as a reading light, um, a, DVI, uh, a DVD player, something like that, you're gonna wanna mark it that a bus is still satisfactory because it's not safety related. Once again, I'm gonna sign this. Hit enter and submit. It's as simple as that to use this. It's going to show me all of my past inspections that I've done. If you have any questions on how to use this or what you should mark something, feel free to reach out to your general manager or your shop foreman. You can also feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me at i.more at govillagetravel.com or simply pick up the phone and call me. Love to uh, hear your feedback on this and how this has either uh, sped up and uh, made your job easier, or if it's made it a lot more complicated, I wanna hear that as well. We wanna keep tweaking this and making it better. Uh, safe travels on the road. Look forward to seeing you soon. Good day.